throwing the one. Let's do it. Oh, the heat. Good morning, good morning, good morning friends. Welcome to Tokyo, Japan. Our first day here. I hope we're looking a little more rested than when you last saw us. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a pretty low bar. So today is all about taking the bullet train here in Japan, better known as the Shinkansen. Yes, exactly. So we're headed up north. We're heading up to Hokkaido because it is still a little too warm here. So we thought it would be a good idea to start in it. northern Japan in the month of September. It's hotter than it was in Canada in peak summer mm -hmm. here in September in Japan. So yeah, we can't wait to head up north. We're going to show you the whole journey, how we get there, how we pick up the tickets, what it's like being on the train, the beautiful scenery and all kinds of tips in between so that you can confidently do this yourself and take the bullet train when you visit Japan. <laughs> exactly, so let's get started. Let's get started. So we're looking for some JR signs. We need to find a machine to pick up our tickets. Shouldn't be too hard to figure out. One would hope. So this is the machine we need right here. It says Shinkansen. Then you come down to the screen where it says QR code and then you just scan over here and it spits out the tickets over here. So pretty straightforward. Oh. Please don't forget your card and ticket. Issuing ticket now. Please don't forget your card and ticket. Issuing ticket now. Please take your ticket. Thank you very much. Alrighty, so we now have our tickets in hand. That was pretty straightforward. Also, we purchased our tickets in advance via Kluk, who are sponsoring this video. So that meant once we arrived here in Japan, we just had to pick up our tickets, go to the machine that says Shinkansen, press the QR code, and it basically spits out your tickets. So really straightforward. I'll also mention that aside from buying a JR pass through them, you can also buy tickets direct from point A to point B, which is what we're doing in this case because the cost of the JR pass has gone up or is going up in October by the time you see this. Um, so in this case, it was better for us to just buy a one-way ticket from Tokyo to Hakodate where we are going. So yeah, there's a little tip for you. If you want to use Kluk, you can buy one-way tickets from point A to point B aside from the pass. And well, now we need to navigate this massive train station and figure out where we are going next. So let's see. First, we, we've got to ride one more train before we get yes. on the Shinkansen. We have one, two, three, four. Four stops in total. Four stops. So we're starting at Ueno. Yeah, and we go to Tokyo Station. Tokyo Station. So a short ride. We're giving ourselves plenty of time. It's only 10 to 7 right now, and our train doesn't go to 8.20. We want to make sure we have a lot of time to, you know, grab maybe grab some food, find our train, not be rushed. So yeah. that's why we're leaving so early. Yeah, definitely. If you're ever in an unfamiliar city, like there's always going to be little delays. You're going to get lost. You're going to be confused. So it's good to give yourself extra time so you don't end up missing a train, especially one you've already prepaid for, right? Because no refunds. suitcases down the steps. I am sweating so much. Oh, it's gonna take us a long time to get used to this, but we eventually will. Yeah, we eventually will.
So lunch aboard the train. Yes, so what we did was we bought Eki Ben Railway Bento Boxes, which is the classic Japanese food that everyone takes onto the train. We each got two different varieties. Yours was more of a, like a fish and a tofu combo. Mine was like mountain vegetables. I had a huge assortment of vegetables, apparently 30. So we bought those at a little kiosk right at the train station. And then we went to the vending machine and we got our favorite, Pokari Sweat. So that kept us satiated and also quenched our thirst too. So yeah, that's, uh, that's how you do it on the trains in Japan. Highly recommend it. Thoughts on the journey so far? Uh, so we're over halfway done. Great journey so far. Beautiful scenery. It's really interesting because once we got outside of Tokyo, we replaced the urban scenery for mostly rural. And what's really neat about Japanese cities is that a lot of people have this idea that you're going to see apartments everywhere. Once you go down to the countryside, you see more houses than anything else. Beautiful journey. Uh, very clean trains, whisper quiet inside even though we're flying like crazy outside. We're going 320 kilometers as I'm tired. Um, just overall really enjoyed the journey. We've had some good food, it's been very comfortable, spacious seats. Yes. This is definitely the way to go. Lots of legroom I'll mention. Yeah. Taking the train in Japan is an excellent uh, transportation option. It's efficient, it's on time. And it'll get you to wherever you need to go quite fast, especially when you're on the Shinkansen on the, on the bullet train like we are today. So we have arrived in Hokkaido, we are all checked into our hotel, and I wanted to take a moment to sit down and actually talk about the nitty gritty, the details of why we booked these train tickets and why are we traveling the way we are. So your first question might be, why didn't we get an overall Japan rail pass to travel across Japan? And the answer to that is because we actually travel very slowly and we're not taking trains every single day. So in our case, the most cost effective way was to buy, you know, a one way like place to place ticket. In our case, it was from Tokyo Station to Hakodate. And then once we actually arrived in Hokkaido, we decided to get a Hokkaido JR pass. And again, the regional passes are a bit cheaper, so we ended up getting the seven day pass and we're using it to move around from Hakodate to Noboribetsu to Sapporo to Otaru. That is the plan so far. So that's the reason why we got these tickets. And for the train tickets, as we mentioned, we got those through Kluke. It was super easy to book them online. And then again, super easy to pick them up once we arrived at the train station. And to give you a bit more information about Kluke, they are the official appointed ticketing agent with the official JR train schedule providers. They also have coverage in 108 Shinkansen stations and over 2,900 train routes. So you can really move around Japan really easily purchasing tickets through them. Also one of the added benefits is that you can book your tickets 90 days ahead of time versus 30 days ahead of time on the official JR site. You can book first class tickets, which are the green tickets, or you can travel with second class tickets, reserved or unreserved seats, which is what we did. And also in case you do have any upcoming travels in Japan, we do have a discount code that you can use to purchase your JR tickets 
tickets. So we're gonna leave that code on the screen and also in the description box. And now we're going to fast forward a few days and jump to us arriving at the train station in Hakodate to pick up our Hokkaido rail passes and begin our adventure around Northern Japan. Alrighty, so we just picked up our Hokkaido JR passes. They are good for seven days, so we're really excited to explore the island. And this time around, I picked them up in person, so I wanted to show you how it works with the QR code when you do it at the machine. But if you prefer speaking to someone, you can also do so at the station, get some help from a real person. It might take a little bit longer because there tends to be a bit of a lineup. Um, but yeah, it got done and now we're ready to keep on traveling around northern Japan. This is our train. This is our, our train. ride. The original train. The JR. The JR. Here we go. That is green car, first class. Not how we are traveling today. We actually couldn't get a reserved seat. Uh, the train was fully booked. So we're using our passes, we're getting on, and we'll sit wherever is available. As of now, there doesn't seem to be very full, but granted the train doesn't go for another half an hour. Yeah, so things could change. We're super early. Well, this is us, non-reserved. My luggage. Press it to alert the crew. Thank you. Howdy, partner. Howdy. We are one of the first on the train and we snagged a seat. We will not have to get up off of this seat. This is the non reserve section. Well, guys, we are on the train. This one is going in the direction of Sapporo, but we're going to be getting off in Noboribetsu um, and staying at a Ryokan and enjoying the onsen. But I have to say, I am so pleased that they have non-reserved carriages. When I got to the station and they said there are no reserved seats available, I thought we're going to be playing musical chairs for three hours. Um, but no, they have carriages that are specifically non-reserved, so that is where we are traveling today. It's not busy at all so far. I mean, our train's not leaving for a little while, but there's only one other passenger in the whole carriage. So, seems like that's good news, and we can't wait to be on our way to explore a different corner of Hokkaido. today's video we hope you enjoyed following along on this Shinkansen adventure from Tokyo Station up to Hokkaido we have loads of videos coming up from northern Japan so we hope you stick around for that adventure we invite you to give the video a like subscribe leave us a comment and we'll be seeing you very soon ta-ta